Hey guys and gals, how we doing today? Hey look, we come back out here, we set some brush piles uh, last week, and we set them in our, uh, in our custom aluminum boat, y'all. We didn't have any electronics, we did it strictly off our phone. So, we come back today to check on these piles, to see if there's any fish, and to mark these piles on our units, y'all. Okay, so when I'm scouting, I just want to give a few few hints and tips about live scope. When I'm scouting, y'all, you see how far I'm looking out? Look, I'm looking out 55 foot. You can go up to 60, 70, however far you want to go. I keep mine around 55 foot. Okay, I knew it was around 15 foot of water when I set it, but I wanted to be able to see, to me now, people may disagree with me, but this is, this is me now, and I use my live scope every single day. I set my depth when I'm scouting or when I'm looking deeper, about 10 foot deeper than what it really is. Now, when I go to fishing, I don't do that. I want a full screen when I'm fishing, right? But when I'm scouting, y'all, I actually set it about 10 foot deeper than what the water really is, okay? So now, watch this. I found my pile. I went on Google Maps, went to my favorites, pulled it up, navigated to it. Another thing, when you mark on your phone, all right, that GPS may be off a little bit, or you may not have hit it. You know, look at it. You can see fish swimming all around there. Sorry about that. But anyway, you may have to do a little searching because it may not be dead on, y'all. It may not be. So you may have to do a little bit of searching. All right. Now, once we have found it, all right, now we're going to fine tune and we're going to get our screen set up to be able to fish this. All right, look. I always set my screen up to about five foot deeper than it really is, see? We're in 15 foot of water. All right, I go to 20 foot, right? I can go to 15 foot, but you really can't, you, you miss some things on the bottom, right? A lot of people fish this way. Me personally, I don't like to fish that way. Like I say, I go about five foot deeper than it really is, okay? Now, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to bring this sucker in close as I can. All right, we're 30 foot, we're 25 foot. I'm going to bring it to 20 foot, y'all. Now, look at that. That is a pile that we set last week, y'all. That sucker got some fish on it, y'all. Look, I just wanted to take a minute because a lot of people ask me, you know, how a lot of people ask for that video, you know, to set it with no electronics, to be able to set it, you know, with just using Google Maps and then come back, you know, and mark it on your units, y'all. So that's what I'm doing today. But like I say, this is just a little pointer. It's a little pointer, you know, to get your, your settings right on your live scope. Like I say, everybody's different, but I like, you know, like I say, on my depth, you can see right there, we're fishing 15, 15 and a half foot of water, right? If I set it on 15, I can't see the bottom, right? All right. If I set it on 20, I can see the bottom and everything is going on, y'all. All right. And you can bring it in a little further if you want to. You can bring it in, you know, to 10 foot. All right, now that's going to give you a full screen. You will be able to see your jig. You'll be able to see your minnow. If you drop a minnow right down there on top of it, you'll be able to see it. All right, so you see from my transducer to the top of that pile is eight foot, right? About eight foot from my transducer to that pile. All right, that's the way I like to fish. I like to stay away from them, y'all. That's the reason I carry, you know, 10 and 12 foot poles on my boot. That's all I have because I want to stay away from them. Crappie or finicky, they're spooky. 
and I don't want to do anything to 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 worsen that on them. You know what I mean? I try to. Uh, I want every advantage that I can get while I'm fishing, y'all, because I don't want to go home empty-handed. Hey, look, guys, I wish I could do a video. Actually, there I'm going to do a fishing video, but I can't do it right now. I can't cast and all on the same video, so this is just a little tutorial on this unit I got on the front right here. This particular unit is a, a Garmin 93 SV. Um, anyway... Guys and gals, that is my two cents on it. That is how I located the brush pile. That is how I get uh, honed in on it, as I should say, you know, as far as finding it. But you can see the fish swimming there. That sucker has got some crappie on it. So we about to uh, we about to get our rod and reels out. We're freezing to death. Didn't come prepared. It's wind and it's cold. But anyway. I cannot resist them cropping that I see on that pile, y'all. Hey, look, thanks for watching. God bless each and every one of y'all, and we will see y'all next time.